Hey girl, and welcome to my reset routine. I've been trying to become that girl this year, literally just the best version of myself that I could be, but I just went on vacation and got a little bit off track. So I'm literally trying to come back to healthy habits, eating right, journaling, doing that girl hot stuff, basically. Not drinking much. Happy Valentine's You got a cake? However, life never stopped. Valentine's just passed, and life is just kind of chaotic, so come along. I guess being a business Good morning, or so I thought before I fell back asleep for two more hours and ended up waking up at 8 in the morning because you know what? Sometimes life just happens and that's fine. Sometimes you just have to let your body rest and regroup. I'm not gonna lie, this week I was very disoriented. I didn't really know what was going on. I knew that it was Monday already and the day had started, the week had started, but honestly my body and my mind were still in Texas. They were still catching up from my flight, from not sleeping the night before, and just from traveling. I just couldn't get back on track, but at least I tried and that's what matters, that you try to go back to your healthy habits, that you try to get back on track, however that may look for you. Oh yeah, and I decided to try this random new hairstyle from Pinterest, but I'm not sure if I like it. It's like just a little point ponytail in between but it made me look a little bit weird nonetheless i started my skincare and i'll let you guys enjoy this without my raspy voice right now decide to do some type of makeup because as i've mentioned before whenever you just don't look good you don't do well and i wasn't feeling that bad about my face but just the fact that i put on some makeup and felt prettier made me be 10 times more productive even though i was still dead and tired seen my last vlogs i just came out of this fast called the daniel fast where you just eat vegetables basically basically like a vegetarian diet and one thing that i did really like about that was just eating healthier i was eating a lot of bread eating a lot of cookies and kind of just eating fast food even though i would cook at home i would cook a lot of like korean meals a lot of pork and it just wasn't the healthiest for my lifestyle and that's something that i've absolutely loved to adapt it has changed my motivation and throughout the day the way i feel the way i look it's something i highly recommend it's a hard thing to do but i've also been trying to do less coffee which has been insane for me because if you know me i absolutely love coffee but here is my matcha era Good morning and welcome back 
so today i felt so off like honestly everything about today has been off ever since yesterday i just got back home from san antonio from my trip back to texas and i'm just off i'm like i, I didn't even know what day it was today i had a bible study and like i showed you all my little bible clips and it was nice but i showed up at nine i think it was a nine it's a 9 30 so i was like half an hour early and then i don't know in the bible study too like i had so many things to say and i just didn't talk i just feel so like off with myself and i felt off since the trip itself i also made my matcha and it came out like mid i added more matcha to it because it was like i added way too much milk i can't really measure these cups because they're like so big but they don't look that big in person but they are like they hold a lot anyways yeah today's just been um a little funky but right now i'm gonna journal i'm gonna like put all my thoughts on my paper and resettle myself because i'm like confused that's how i feel like my mind feels confused i'm like what am i doing where am i going like what is going on i don't understand but whatever we're here to make it work i'm not gonna work out right now i plan to work out at night but i'm gonna include some clips from back home because i went to this pilates class and i went to go eat with my friend jess so i'm gonna include that here so you guys can see my pilates and my breakfast with my friend jess back home and then we'll come back to journaling here in real time in georgia good morning so it's not my usual setup i'm at my husband's brother room because we're on vacation i'm about to go to pilates which is across town so my class is at 8 45 but i literally have to leave now because it's literally like an hour away so i gotta go now i'm just waiting for my husband because i'm gonna drop him off somewhere real quick and then we're gonna do hot pilates i'm like scared because they're hot pilates so i don't know how that's gonna work out i've never done actual pilates i've always wanted to do them but today i'm a pilates princess hot pilates princess that might faint or something no i'm just it is what it is so i'm excited to do pilates i'm just scared that they're hot pilates but i'm basically ready it's this new top it's this sports bra it's so cute i literally bought it like two days ago like the back is so cute as well this is how i'm gonna do hot pilates i'll show you my outfit later but i really like it go <laughs> Just I feel like I can't lose 10 out of 10, you turn my gray skies blue You know just what to say To make everything okay How do you do it? Make me feel like I want a commitment Pulling me close, I can't refuse it Trying to keep you under my skin mm -hmm. My patience is running dry But this feeling is hard to hide I had, to, I had to get it off my chest I had to see just what comes next Felt like my heart was under arrest Gotta say I'm impressed Didn't know what to expect Who cares if it seems like I'm chasing you But who else knows you better than I do I do, I do, I do, I do now we're back in Georgia again, and I'm gonna journal on my cute little happy notes. So excited. I just finished journaling and that actually felt so good. I don't know what it is about writing your thoughts down, but it just makes you feel so much better. Like it just allowed me to like put every doubt that I had in there and it allowed me kind of take authority back. Most of you guys know that I'm a Christian and I believe in the Bible and everything. And sometimes I forget that yes, you have to trust God and do everything, but you also have to pray to take authority back. Like you have to pray, like if you have an ugly thought, you have to pray against it. You have to like basically tell your mind like, no, like I'm not gonna have that. It's not because you're perfect. It's just because like you just cancel it out, you know? And I had forgotten about that so i just kind of like took it back you know like actually went back and was just like you're fine like literally everything's fine it may like your mind may seem like everything's falling apart but it's literally not like you're just pray and relax and regroup like write out your thoughts it helps out so much and then also like it's your journal write whatever you want like sometimes i put rules of like no i don't want to write negative things i don't want to write this blah 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 but like it's my journal like just write whatever and 
and God like will speak to you through your thoughts you know I don't know I just had forgotten all that but I feel so much better now I feel like everything's gonna be fine in life and I was just being a little exaggerated but anyways also buying a cute journal helps so much because it just makes you want to write in it like it's so cute this was literally five dollars at Marshalls like it's so cute I love this journal anyways I have a meeting with Pinterest now because I don't know if you guys remember but literally like four months ago I got an issue with my Samsung Angels Pinterest I used to get like 4,000 views on my business Pinterest which I'll put right here and now it's getting like no views and no sales no anything because I got my verification taken away my because something about my catalog it's not like connected anymore I don't know what I tried to fix it I've been trying to fix it for like four months I finally reached out to them and I have a meeting today at 3 30 and it's currently 3 so I'm gonna hop on that meeting right now I'm literally gonna go upstairs and pop my laptop open and open my Pinterest and everything and get it all ready I don't know why I don't want to do this meeting like I'm not even leading this meeting they're just gonna help me but I don't know why I just don't want to do it but whatever we're gonna do hot girl things right now go be business women get it done and then come back and I just want to relax I have a bunch of laundry to fold but let's go let's do one thing at a time also look at my little puppy she looks so cute I can't move I haven't moved because she's on my foot but I have to get up I have to go upstairs to my office but literally like look if I move my foot <laughs> I'm sorry both of my dogs are so dirty, but they already have grooming appointments, okay? Life happens, man. I swear I love them and I take care of them, but anyways, give my foot back. All right, so I changed a bit because I wanted to look like more presentable. Now I'm literally gonna get my notes ready so I can take notes. I already have all my windows open for Pinterest and actually need to open my Shopify. Wish me luck, guys, because I really like Pinterest. Whoa, girl. Pinterest really does bring a lot of new customers into my business. So I hope we can fix it and like work better together. <sighs> Is being a businesswoman. Yeah, I say a little prayer before it starts. God, I hope that everything comes out fine. I hope that my Pinterest is gonna be able to be fixed and I'm gonna be able to get a lot of customers back in. I thank you for the Pinterest team. I thank you that I have a laptop and an iPad and you know sufficient resources to be able to get this fixed. So in Jesus' name, I put it all in your hands. Amen. Here we go. Yes. Hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, Samantha Miramontes. One hour later. Well. That was a total fail. I was calling to fix my catalog and the guy was calling to teach me how to like sell ads on Pinterest, which is like usually what Pinterest does. Like that's why usually they want to try to get 30 minutes with you to like tell you how you can advertise and market and whatever. Uh, so it was a fail. I got ready for nothing, but whatever. <laughs> I can't anymore. Everything's going wrong today. It's just not a good it's a good day it's a good day it's just um a confusing day very confusing day but cheers to adulting everybody here's to growing up being your own boss being your own business owner and whatever send prayers subscribe <laughs> comment have a nice day i'll see y'all right now in like five seconds but i need to regroup myself Oh my goodness guys, something that actually came out of this is that I finally connected my TikTok shop to my Shopify. I'm trying to sell on TikTok for that minute. Like I've been trying to connect my TikTok shop to my Shopify account to link all my products together, but now it's literally setting up. Like setting up is in progress. So I'm so excited because that means I'm gonna be able to sell on TikTok. <gasps> so yeah, literally, thank you God, because without his help, I would have not been able to do this. It's because I prayed before that meeting and it really, really helped me. So I'm just really, really grateful right now. I actually got something done. I'm so excited. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Well, for you guys, this will be posted probably this Saturday. For me and Henry, Valentine's is tomorrow. So I have to get ready. I have to wax my eyebrows, wash my hair. I'm going to wear actually my new dress from Sam's Angels, which I'll show y'all. Oh my gosh, by now you guys have would have seen my wedding video already. And me and Henry had actually not seen our wedding video. We got married eight months ago, but just life happened and we never got to see it until now. So I'm really excited for you guys to see that. Let me know if you guys liked it. Comment down below. Happy early Valentine's Day. You got a Cake? Cause I'm gonna be asleep for some of the day tomorrow, so this is your first part of your gift. Thank you, strawberry. Ah, oh, thank you, baby. Here's what me and Henry decided to do tonight. It's a heart-shaped pizza. It's so cute. Oh my god, this is my favorite Hawaiian and thin crust. And then let me see the second one. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. It's a pepperoni with jalapenos. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, he got me a cheesecake with freaking strawberries on top. So open this bad boy up. Oh. No, no, no. I want some of the cake first. Did oh, you open I'm the pizza or no? <laughs> I'm gonna put the wine in there. 
in the fridge. Oh, goodness, like almost dropped it. I know. Look at my cake. I don't want to show it and then it falls, you know? I'm able to show it and it slides off. Oh my god. I want to try it already. Can you share a slice?